This video is sponsored by NordVPN. More on that later. Time to die, hero! Go ahead, try and fight back! I have and will always love vanilla Skyrim, even with its, come on kid, let's play baseball. Yeah! Nay, because of its quirks. No, 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 fuck you. There's a special charm in my opinion to doing most things on this channel with a relatively out of the box anniversary edition experience so that I'm on a similar, even with weird twists, playing field as everyone else. I've tweaked the rules of Skyrim, but never really gone so far as to really overhaul its core systems. So I figured, what the hell? Let's do what we do best on this channel and lock ourselves to a region of the game world, surviving and exploring as much content as possible without ever leaving said region. We're back, we are so fucking back. Of course, teaching you and giving you the keys to success if you find yourself in the same scenario. But let's do it with, at least in my opinion, an overhaul that improves various aspects of Skyrim, like the sandbox and physics, among others, without turning it into Dark Souls goth waifu simulator sexy time. This video is twofold, my Skyrim overhaul and our usual fare of stupid challenge that I like to call the region lock countdown challenge. I'll let me in the past take it away on the rules. Honestly, I think this is one of my, I've outdone myself with this slideshow. It's informative, it's quick, it's to the point. Tried to put in a little bit more effort with this than the last one we did. If you are interested in the mod list, I, you can see my green screen is getting cut off. I must start in and I cannot leave the region that is chosen, the snow and the reach. That's what we've decided. So one is for the reach, two is for the snow. We have a 15 hour time limit that is to quest, explore, grind, and prepare. Once we hit 15 hours, we can no longer grind, we can't loot, we have to completely cut ourselves off. After the 15 hour mark, we will have our final goal, which is to clear Vokun's dungeon. If you're not sure who Vokun is, he is a dragon priest. I looked it up and the most reputable Skyrim source for outdated information, Game Rant, ranked Vokun as the 10th most difficult dragon that priest in the counts. game. I need to mute alerts when I do these presentations in the future, but I'm not a good streamer. Bonus rules, no save scumming. I think that should be self-explanatory. Uh, the only checkpoints that I'm gonna get are sleeping, auto saves, and then of course, after the 15 hour mark, we gotta cut it off. Now, for the exact list of mods that I'm using, I'll highlight most of them as we go through this challenge. If you wanna see my full mod list, I'll leave it linked below. The main mods are precision, which makes for more accurate and satisfying hit detection and physics. Oh, that was awesome. Blade and Blunt, which changes combat balance. Community shaders and Skyland for visuals. These among like 40 others. You may choose to follow a deity, receiving a minor blessing and learning about their sacred tenets. Um. Which one's the hot one? There is one issue with my mod list, though. Foul and unclean who seek to yeah, I haven't exactly diagnosed what's causing this yet. Okay, 15 hours are on the clock. We've got to get as much done as possible without ever leaving the reach. So, with all that out of the way... Three... Two... One... I say we start right here right in this corner, boom, and we have to make it naked all the way across to Markarth. I always love day one of these challenges, that initial mad dash where I don't have an immediate goal other than survive. You'll have a long walk from here to Markarth, so it's important just to get your feet up under you. The Reach isn't exactly a low level area, and with the power of mods, you'll be bumping into something or someone almost every step of the way. Almost like an incredibly active sandbox is a really important part of these games, and it would be really silly if that just became a thing that they tried to get rid of it. All right, we're moving. Everything looks good on my end. We should be in the right zone. Let's get some horse meat. Mm. Last thing I needed was wolves, but I could use the XP. Altar of Magnus. Carlson, the chess player? Oh yeah. Staff of Fireballs, not a bad find. When we sat I didn't hear anything you said. I'm too distracted by the fact that you sound like one of the elves from Oblivion. But sure, I'll try and find your sword. I long to taste battle again. 
Beautiful. This is exactly what we needed. I'm gonna save the staff so that I can get some destruction XP. Can I hit him from here? Of course not. Fishing rod? I know how we're spending our first day. Oh my God, empty wine bottle. God. Who's littering? This is a gorgeous river. Who is throwing their junk in here? Come on, we need a ring. We need something enchanted. Ugh. It's not, it's not, and this is ridiculous. How many trolls died in this river? Are trolls that bad at swimming? There was a giant party of lantern wearing, goblet drinking, wine chugging trolls that all got hammered and died in this exact river. I get it that fishing might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I enjoy it. It's calming, relaxing, and if you stick with it long enough, you're sure to reap some form of reward. All right, that's, fu that's I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. The Reach has more to offer than just fishing in bad weather, however. Between here and Markarth, this place is loaded with encounters, dungeons, and way, way too much to get to in just 15 hours, but we'll try and hit as much of it as possible. You'll need to stock up on equipment on your way to Markarth, and luckily, there's a lot of generous folk along the road willing to part ways with their gear. It's entire Imperial Patrol. Is my staff good enough to take them on? I don't know if we'll have a better opportunity than this. This is risky. I'm gonna lose all my fishing progress if we blow it here. Die, Imperial scum! Oh, they're shooting. Woo! I forgot how accurate they are. One of them's dead. I still have plenty of ammo left. Oh, God, he's close. The Imperial captain has a shitload of health. Go, go, for God's sake, get up the hill. Boom, direct hit. One Imperial down, two Imperials down. Awesome. Steel arrows. I don't really want to wear Imperial armor, but I need something. I'm going to take as much as I can carry. A cloak. Got to hit the noble first. Smoked him. That guard's going to shoot at us, and they're going to be accurate as all hell. Shit, I hit the horse. I didn't mean to, horsey. A thousand bounty? The guard's down. Let's steal some destruction XP. Freeze! Give me all you got. Keep away. If I am harmed, people will come. Don't you dare fall in the river. Where's the horse? Oh, yes. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to puke from this angle. <laughs> it's too immersive. What a thrilling beginning. Honestly, I'm impressed. I didn't think I would get that many kills. But you're 100% right. This horse is a witness and a total narc. Absolute buzzkill. Oh, oh, I didn't realize it was going to be that tough. Go <laughs> run away from the horse. Fine, fine. You can turn me in. Please don't follow me into the inn. Ah! Get in the I definitely lucked out finding a staff of nuclear explosions so early because melee combat with the changes so far. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. I got caught in the animation. Quite a few growing pains, especially adjusting to different hitboxes and timing that I'm used to. One big thing that I focused on when remastering Skyrim was the look. I didn't want to mess too much with it because I think the vanilla art style is amazing, and even after doing some tweaks, I still think that the faces might be a bit too pretty, the lighting a bit strange in some places, but overall, I enjoy the change of scenery, and I think cities especially look great. Speaking of. He killed her. Right in front of me. Yeah, right in front of me, too. Am I not allowed to be traumatized? What, just because I'm the main character? <gasps> no! 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 Made it to the city, and it only took an entire hour. I'm not tracking well towards my final goal right now, but there's plenty in town to help us get there. Of course, you have the standard stuff, hotel, sleep and get some food, crafting, sell some loot, maybe buy a spell or two, or even start one of the many quests lying around. While in town, grab yourself a missive off the board for some side work. These are fun little side jobs. In fact, the mod is so popular that Bethesda made an entire video game of just these bad boys. Since you have the ability to choose your own deity of worship, now's the time where you should begin the search for a divine representative that matches your ideas. 
deals. There's great options all around. It's abandoned, and it's always been abandoned. What are you talking Excuse about? Me. Do you know anything about this house? I just got here. I just got done serving my prison sentence. Do you need help? Do you hire felons? Follow me and keep your eyes open. Honestly, it's always been a goal of mine to worship a demon. Not in real life. Let's make sure we take whatever Wait, we can get. Did you hear that? No, I didn't hear that. I was too busy making money. Weak. He's weak. You're strong. Crush him. Yes, master. Your reward is waiting for you, mortal. Yes, my sweet prince. Let me just real quick. Just hold on one, one second, my lord. Coming. <laughs> I love Molek Ball. I dedicate this entire playthrough to Molek Ball in his name. <clears throat> um, <n> <laughs> now about my enthusiasm. Uh, for the record, I do not like uh, Molag Ball. This is a set of ideals that just obliterate the vibe. But that mace is pretty sweet. So off we go to deliver him a human sacrifice and finally start making some progress on this run. Nice teamwork. Okay. <laughs> I'm supposed to kill you, right? It's what Molek Ball would want. Oh my gosh, how many nobles are going to be walking around the roads? Hold on, let's just <clears throat> let's just chill out here for a second. Plautus. Let's just let his guard keep walking. Okay, it looks like his guard is far enough away. What? No. Uh, this is not good. Is the Vigilant of Stendar helping me? Why? You're not even a guard. You're a fraud. Wait a minute. Are those new bandits? I don't know what's happening. The guard. What the fuck happened? The guard is dead. I got to catch up to this. Bandit feral cub. Uh, that hammer. Ooh, not too sure about that one. Vigilant of Stendar. I don't On what planet is that OK? Go. Oh, I have no speed. Get in the river. Don't, 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 don't you dare. Stop it. Stop. Oh, thank you, river. The river saved me. Oh, my God. Go, go. OK, use the current. Let them get washed away by the river. Oh, thank God for nature. Who's the goddess of nature? Kinnereth, hear me. For my soul is committed to you. You gotta be shit. Drugger White? Okay, if we're gonna take him out. Oh god, that almost got me. Friendly fire. There's a second one that just got in here. Oh, I cut myself off. I'm gonna get hit with an arrow here. Down, get some cover. Dead end? Not a dead end trap. Go! You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> no way. Get out of here, man. Come on. Bring it. There's a second one still. I got to be careful, though. He could roll up into this hallway. Fire arrows. Absolutely massive. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. He was going to roll up into the hallway with arrows. Fuck you, Drugger White. I know I couldn't put up a fight, but I kicked your ass. It's called class. Oh, what a shot. Huge. All right, we're getting out of here. Oh, it's the Hag Raven in the cage. Evil Petra put me here. Let me out. OK, well, let's be careful. You're going really fast. Slow down, Grandma. Button. I feel like you're tricking me right now. Is she trying to bamboozle me? I knew it. You, uh, you, I knew she was lying to me. So if it's not middle button or did I hit the wrong one? How the hell did I hit the wrong switch? Oh, nice block. Mocha, how could you? I'm just going to let her take the lead as long as I can. Oh, God, she died. She died. Gra Grandma's down. Go. Woo! <laughs> Go. Uh, damn it. Why is Petra so powerful? I don't stand a chance. 
There's a hole in that window. Maybe not. Here we go. You want to fight me in the rain? Let's do this. Ow! Damn, blocked. Locked again. Stop blocking all my shots. Whoever the final boss of this dungeon is, though, is probably going to kick my shit in. Yeah, you know what? I tried. It was a good effort. I'll just, I'll, I'll accept death here. I'll take it. Shh, shh, don't move. He can't see us if we don't move. So it's dodgeable. Maybe we can get him to burn all his magicka. Woo, he's shooting quick. He's gonna run out. Good hit. No stumble. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, now this dickhead's healing. Woo! Suck it. You there. Are you here to kill me? Coward. Did you not just see me beat ass? You have, you're gonna call me coward. I won't ask questions. Cut me loose. Damn, that was really interesting, whatever just happened on the screen. Hey everybody, real life me here. Fun fact about myself, if you didn't know this, um, I like to browse the Skyrim Nexus uncensored. And I don't need my ISP snooping in on my life, doing private things that I enjoy, like... Thank you for calling Spectrum, how can I help? Sorry, ma'am, could you hold for a second? Uh, hey, Tom, Tom, okay. come here, same guy, same guy doing it again. I can't believe, I can't believe this is our job. Whether you value your privacy or you'd like to access the hidden vault that is British Netflix, consider the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. Protect your data, mask your IP, and stay safe with Nord's active threat protection. Right now, they are offering a massive discount plus four additional months free when you use my link, nordvpn.com slash juve. It's risk-free, so maybe give it a try. You get 30 days money back guarantee, so it's always a good deal. That's nordvpn.com slash juve, or you can just click the link down below. It's right, it's right down there. Helps the channel. Thank you again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. What do I do, just smack him? Can I smack him through here? Oh, I can, he has a lot of help though. He's tanky. This just makes me feel bad now. Now, now I'm really executing him. Never submit. You won't? Try it again. Well, don't make me do it again. Come on, it took like 15 swings. Swing. This is actually really good training. I'm getting a lot of XP. Can we do this again? I'm on to my second day, and while I enjoy caving in Grandpa's skull as much as the next person, you should probably find a god with less problematic ideals. You were young when you first tasted human flesh, weren't you? A brother or sister had died? An accident, of course. Then the hunger set in. What's the harm in just one bite? Uh, ma'am, that's what we call projection. So what you're telling me is that you, when growing up, ate your sibling. That was an oddly specific example. Human flesh. What happens if I eat it? Is it gonna be devastating if I just cannibalize it? I'm doing it. <laughs> Oh shit, I did eat a guy. I am a cannibal. Oh no, I forgot we ate human meat. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, that, it, that was an accident. That was an experiment you wouldn't understand. A lot of our kind block out the memory of their first meal. I didn't block out the memory, I just forgot. Namira, the Lady of Decay, accepts you for what you are. I'm in, I'm in, sign me up. I need a goddess I can follow. Oh man, I, I, why do I always gotta turn into the bad guy with some fucked up backstory? It's less fucked up than Molag Ball. At least we're violating the dead, right? Yes, 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 it's it's uh, it's renewable. Humans probably create less greenhouse gases with their farts and burps than cows do. So if you think about it, we're kind of saving the world. It's only a coincidence that it's tender. Maybe a dipping sauce. Canes, 
Doesn't sound too bad to me. <laughs> sound, doesn't sound too bad to me. No, I'm just kidding. Do not eat humans. Chad, this is not an endorsement of cannibalism. Let me go on the record and officially state that I, Juve, do not think that you should eat humans. Day two was a total snooze fest at first, so we're skipping ahead to our new god, Namira. The only thing of note that happened beforehand is I found this cool spell that's so overpowered and fun, it's probably going to put any future challenge runs I do in jeopardy of trivializing themselves. Okay, who made this mod? I wanna shake your hand. Oh, and I got a pet mud crab. His name is Crabbo. He's distinguished, handsome, and has a keen sense of danger. All right, I can't take this anymore. I need more human. I'm taking the horse. You'll never stop me. The cannibalism is too strong. Immersive horse riding, fine. Why is it always raining? Oh, this was so much faster. Kind of awesome how much quicker I got here. Kind of not awesome that it's raining again. Always raining. She's gonna turn on me, isn't she? It would be the most Skyrim thing ever if she turned on me when we got in there. Shit. This might be a tough fight. I'll take the two-handed. You take the archer. Okay, or you take neither of them and I'll just get lit up. And then she steals my kill. I cannot stand her. I really like how the two-handed sword feels. Now we need to prepare a grand feast to welcome you to Namira's coven. Yes. Follow the Daedric Prince Namira. Namira is the Lady of Decay, ruler of shadows, and patron of revolting creatures and people. Oh my god, it's like it's describing me! Except. <laughs> Pray. Why do I have to pray? No, come on. I still have to go to mass? I thought it was all just about killing things and murder and eating people. Okay, maybe I'll pray. We'll say I'll say one prayer. I can't believe I have to actually go in here and favorite prayer. <laughs> Namira, bless me with your bountiful feast. You know, Turkey Chick does kind of look like she'd make a good cannibal. Finally, representative divinity. Namira will task you with luring the laughably gullible priest Verilus back for consumption, but before grilled priest is on the menu, I suggest taking Verilus along with you for multiple reasons. Reason one, the reach is dangerous alone. Ooh. You gotta be shitting me. Reason number two, you'll be walking everywhere, so it's good to have some company. I want to go. Okay, I'm going to this island. How do I access this island right here? Sleep, sweet Arke, by your side. Let no harm come to us. I'm going to prove to this guy in two seconds that Arke doesn't exist. <sighs> what now, Verilus? And my game crashed. <laughs> what a what a time for it to just freeze and crash. And most importantly, reason number three. He gets in a few good workouts, builds up some muscles, you know, fans up a little bit before the big RK keeps the cycle. He watches us in life and death. You're gonna say the same line over and over again, aren't you? His AI pathing, oh no, his AI pathing's gonna bring him right into the Forsworn camp. I, oh, Joe, they're firing fireballs at him. And I don't have any stamina. There's a giant orb of cold. I don't know if I can get out of this. Where's my guy? Where'd he go? Ah, oh, fuck. Did he run away? He might have ran away. Lead Verilus to the... Oh, no, he's right there. He's downed. I got to get him out of here. Not on my cannibal watch. That is beyond stupid. Fuck your at your neck. Forsworn, good battle. That was a good battle. That was a good fight. It just makes me so angry. Oh, we made it. Oh, it's just the blades. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. You're not going to invisible wall me. Oh, Todd, you bastard. Wait, let me through. Oh, <gasps> no way. Can I refund a game on Steam after 650 hours? No. You should have just given me the job. I asked nicely. Oh, my God, I'm actually going to die here. 
All right, no more. We are back on track. I am done screwing around. God fucking damn it, motherfucker. Let's go, Mudcrab. I like the way you talk. Where's my priest friend? I ran over here too quickly. Now I'm gonna die. <laughs> Where are you going? What strategy is this? Woo! That was close. That block saved my life. And where the hell were you this whole time? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, RK gets all the credit for that fight. Oh, that was awesome. That was a close call. Oh, nice. You even saved him for me. You're learning, Verilis. Poison. I caught that right at the last second. My kill. I think there's just one left. Oh, okay, that was a good fake. I need to use fury or fear. I need some crowd control. Really? Relax with the arrows. Gotcha. Oh man, that's close. Red Eagle's fury burns the target for five points. Targets on fire take an extra or take extra damage. Sorry, I'm a little locked in and focused right now. Oh no, don't, is this a dragon priest? The final boss is supposed to be a dragon priest. High level Draugr, not a dragon priest. Oh, that was unnecessary. That was unnecessary, that was. I can win this fight. We get rid of the minions and then it's gonna open us up to using our little priest back here as a tank. Ow. That does a ton of damage. Oh, that's such crap. You fucking asshole, how? Sprint! Yeah, come back here, we'll duel. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah we gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go, this is not a fair fight. Wait a minute. Why isn't this my final goal? It's in the reach. It's an incredibly difficult boss fight, a cinematic arena. I'm getting my ass kicked and building character. I've already compiled a decent habit on this channel of building up to an incredibly underwhelming ending. Okay, new plan. I will train myself and defeat Red Eagle in 1v1 combat before the timer expires, thus naming myself most powerful cannibal in the reach and the number one top rated president of Namira's fan club. I didn't write this, I just kind of came up with it. Oh, that's right, we totally forgot Namira. Now I know what you're thinking, but trust me. Okay, will guard our eternal rest. His servants shall protect the dead from harm. Why don't you ask, why don't you ask this guy what he thinks of RK? Hold on, who are all these people? I don't remember inviting all these people to my cannibal party. This was supposed to be for me and you. Who, who are you? What's going on? I'm your friend. You're my friend. Yes, I'm your friend, and I've invited you to dinner. I'm so hungry. Why don't you lay down and rest? I need to lay down. I'll just be a minute. Are you doing like a Jedi mind trick thing, or is this guy just a moron? Yo, oh, you guys got started without me? Come on. Also, nobody here is eating human meat. That guy's drinking an invisible cup. You're drinking wine or blood. Fair play to you. But these two guys, they're just having bread. What are you looking at? All right, I'm gonna put this sweet roll in my inventory and then it won't be covered in blood. I'm gonna drop it and it'll be clean. Get, get it, get it, can you move? Hmm. Hmm. Wow. No blood on the sweet roll. And then when I drop it, ah, now it's clean. Un-fucking playable. That is embarrassing. God, this game sucks. <laughs> I quit. Don't be shy. You should be the one to carve. Don't say carve. That just sounds wrong. I've been waiting to do this for a while. What was that about RK protecting you, guiding you? I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be sick. I don't like this anymore. Finishing up this quest nets you a cool reward in the form of a ring that lets you eat more people, but the even better reward is the reputation you'll start building around the nation. Guilds from all over will be calling your name and seeking your special talents. You there. 
The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? I just got done committing the most heinous act of all time, and this guy's like, you, you look like a nice recruit. You look well fed. Why don't you join our army? Yeah, I'm good. That's what everybody says. If everybody says that, maybe your recruiting methods suck. I definitely should have mentioned this earlier because I can see the comments now. Why didn't you try this mod or that Wabajack? You call this an overhaul? Well, for starters, it's my channel and anybody who has seen my channel before knows I can do whatever the f I want. But also remember the key here for me was to keep things very vanilla and understandable for both myself and anybody watching. It took me until around hour seven to have a really good grasp on the changed mechanics, and the goal here was to have something lightweight, not very overwhelming, especially for someone new to modding, but different enough to spice the game up in ways that I think stay true to Skyrim Sandbox. That's the beauty of modding being able to shape the experience in a way that fits your individual taste, and I wanted to aim for something that's pretty accessible. We've got our work cut out for us if we want to take down Red Eagle, so thankfully day three is when things really started clicking for me. I finally started getting used to the timing and feel of Blade and Blunt with precision. Two-handed is by far the most fun way to play. I don't want to. Don't make me do it. Not in front of Crabbo. Where's Crabbo? Crabbo? Look away. Okay, Crabbo's not here. Sorry, sorry. Oh, fuck. I know, oh, that makes me feel bad. No, Crabbo, don't look. I, I, I swear, I, I showed up and they were already dead. Oh, don't burrow away, I'm sorry. Look, we'll get ice cream on the way back home. I don't know if the video does it justice, but the feel of these kills just hits so hard at times without being wildly over the top. I mentioned it quickly with overlay text earlier, but it really does kind of feel like dying light if you've ever played it. The Empire is in shambles. They banned the worship. Ah! <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, that looked awesome. <laughs> okay. That was so aggressive. Not exactly, but that satisfying sort of ah! uh, Yeah! Just got him. I am so strong. As I continued moving along and grinding away my power level, a few things became pretty clear. Under the perk overhaul that I'm using Adamant, my light armor skill was jumping clear ahead of the pack, and some of these perks are awesome. Increased movement speed, armor bonuses, stamina regen, and a whole lot more. I've kind of avoided talking about the mechanics of combat and perks because it's very word and math heavy, but I got sucked into this glass cannon, stamina based, fast moving, two handed weapon swinging, bomb throwing spell sword build and holy crap this was so much fun i got a late start on two-handed but the perk tree has some really powerful perks as well so my sights are set mainly on two-handed and light armor to give me the best shot at taking out red eagle who just an hour ago was one tapping us alarmingly fast some other fun stuff i noticed precision lets you hit multiple enemies at once which is just amazing to pull off come on nice Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, baby. One sad thing, daggers are useless in the hands of enemies. The range is just embarrassingly bad. I'll watch this clip unedited and you'll see what I mean. Yeah, daggers are not good. Daggers are in fact terrible on precision. Another little detail that I love, and this is my official response to every, why don't you download TK Dodge? Install a Dodge mod. TK Dodge. Download TK Dodge. No, Skyrim does not need a Dodge. Humbly, in my opinion, of course, the player has more than enough built-in movement advantages versus the ancient clunk fest that is Skyrim's AI. Ring around the rosy strategy. Keep him bamboozled. We're moving quickly. Oh my gosh, I'm behind him at all times. You can't, you don't even know where I'm going. You're completely lost, Mr. Falmer. Ooh, ooh, he almost got me. And with the precision mod, the game already has a dodge. NPCs have to commit to their power attacks, especially a forward power attack. So if you time it right, a small sidestep has you clear of their attack in a good position. And seriously, it might not look amazing on recording, but trust me, it is insanely fun to pull off. Last little detail I noticed, and maybe you did as well throughout this video. Oh my God, ranged enemies are really accurate. Fuck off with the arrows. I don't know what comes after that, but 
No bun, let me recover, there's an arrow inside my brain. Much more so than vanilla, and they deal a lot more damage. I kind of like this though, because with Blade and Blunt, they are expending stamina to shoot, so there's a cost to them for missing and a small reward to me for dodging, and it means I need to have a third eye at least aware of the line of sight between myself and anyone shooting at me. I've got three big problems. Apparently, my goddess Namira has abandoned me because I'm still getting my ass kicked quite a lot. That's bad. That's bad, I'm gonna bleed out. No way! No way. Oh, if I keep rotating, you can't shoot me. You physically aren't allowed to shoot me. It's illegal for you to switch sides. No, it still got me! Oh my gosh, I quit. <laughs> so bad. No way. Come on, one more. No! No! You... God, I hate this. <laughs> she won't even let me worship her properly, crashing whenever I feast without full health. Okay, it looks like I have some cover here. Let's not waste our magic. Food? Let's see if it crashes our game again. So problems one and two combined. I need a new god, and I'm running out of options at this point. I am one of the afflicted. I'd have been dead from this plague a year ago if not for Periite's protection. He didn't even tell me where Kesh is. Rebel's Cairn? Is that the place I'm looking for? Oh no, it's right over here. Find Kesh at the Periite Shrine. You know, since cannibalism keeps crashing my game, we're going to find a third god. If I'm going to defeat Red Eagle and kill a Dragon Priest, I'll need to trade religions like my grandparents trade prescription medications. After a hard fought and dangerous pilgrimage to bring my new god his sacrifices, only one thing stood in the way between myself and ascension to my true power. I want you to go to the Fathers and kill Orchendor in my name. This is gonna be impossible. If I can't get through this dungeon, how the hell am I supposed to kill a dragon priest? Uh-oh. Oh, that was close. They're gonna be all over this place. Gross! Ew, yucky! trap right there. I love environmental kills. Oh, I love them. I don't think anything gets my Skyrim boner bigger than when I use the environment and get a kill. Oh, thank you. This wall is very good at blocking vomit. Come on! How much vomit do you guys have? Thank you for playing. Yeah, okay. This is too good. Stop with the arrows. Stop, they're really effective. You bastard! Boys found it weak. Ah! No, 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 not the robots! Oh, they're very powerful. No, 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 no! Woo! Ow, 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 not as much damage as I thought. Hmm. I actually feel pretty good right now. I'm not afraid of spiders. No way. Okay, I got my ass kicked that time. Nope, vomit. Woo, just barely dodged it that time. It's a dungeon that doesn't stop. That was so dumb. Why would I run in a circle? Oh, fuck off. Injured? Oh, my lord. Vomit coming around the corner. Dodge the vom. Vom dodge. It's a, it's a crucial move. One down. Use the pillar. Man, these columns are so clutch.
What the f stop 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 no I, I I request that you not use that uh, that ability Why would I even try to walk down that hallway? What was the point? Did we really need a slow motion badass kill cam for that? Okay, we did the sound effect was really cool of course, of course, there's, they're all following me now. Are they rolly boys or spiders? They're just spiders. Go. Health. More spiders. Holy shit, this place is awful. Why did I ever come here? Everything about this dungeon, it's nonstop. It's relentless. It's like a migraine in video game form. Okay, are you the final person I have to kill? Oh wait, don't tell me. I don't have a checkpoint. Resisted elemental flare. Okay, now the spiders are on me. I gotta run back. I gotta get a checkpoint at, at some place. You son of a- <laughs> No way! No, you don't get to mountain climb! Oh my god, are you kidding me? You, no, this is the first time I've ever seen that work. The hell this guy- oh, Okay, so this guy can vomit and teleport. Okay, we've got a column. We can use this column to defend ourselves. So now if he teleports, it throws him into the exact same spot. Okay, Dwarven Mud Crab, get out of the way. Stop dancing. Stop spinning around. I don't, I'm not really sure what strategy you're employing. Uh, I'm going to have to just nut up and hit him with my sword. But getting the right angle here could be awkward. I just got to go for it. Got to stumble? No! Stay right there! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yeah! Yes, sir! That's how you do it. Third time's the charm. It might not be the most exciting deity on the list, but with blind faith guiding me, I have the utmost confidence we can take on anything. I'm sorry, I've only been talking about myself this whole time. I forgot you're supposed to take some lesson from this, and I've just been letting our teaching moments go by the wayside. The main takeaway from this all is that I'm having so much goddamn fun right now. Oh my god, this is awesome. I'm not even kidding. This is by far the most fun I've had playing this old ass game in a really long time. All right, fine. I'll, I'll get back to doing my job. You want some tips? I got some tips for you. Your time will begin to wind down in whatever location you have inexplicably decided to live in for a wildly nonsensical, arbitrary amount of time. I'd gamble that you probably have a few checklist items you're looking to get done before time runs out. For me, you already know the first is to get revenge on that bastard red eagle, that son of a bitch. But I also heard rumors of a golden horse. Not only do I like things that are solid gold and look expensive, but walking around this place has been hell on my feet. It's nice that this game has alternative travel options to speed things up. Wouldn't it be kind of funny if Bethesda made a game where there weren't any options like that? <laughs> After you take care of the Skyrim survival essentials, sleeping, buying food, crafting, upgrading, holy crap, I had so much disenchanting. Load up your inventory and prep for one last adventure. I've only got a few hours left, but I'm aiming to have myself a golden horse, even though everyone in my Twitch chat advised it would be impossible within the time and I'd get stuck in whatever dungeon it's in. I've never done it, but if there's one thing that continuously rings true with this game, there is always something new to learn. What's crazy is you don't hop bar anything. Is that a thing? Whoa, 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 what is this down here? <laughs> Did I never notice that? It's been under me the whole time. There's a hot bar. How did I? Huh? So wait, wait, if I hold. No way. I just got to hit a number. So then, OK, so one will be sword. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't I don't know how I didn't know this. I'm, I'm actually I'm genuinely shocked. This has got to be some of the most efficient Skyrim I have ever played in my life. I'm a man on a mission. OK, it's only a spider. It's a, oh crap, it's a giant frostbite spider. Do not be confused. Oh my god, you got way too close, way too quickly. <laughs> Wait, no, spiders in Skyrim are not that scary. They shouldn't be. Wow, look at all the health on that bad boy. Ah! Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, it just was, I didn't expect it to fill the whole screen. I didn't expect that. Ugh. <sighs> 
See, tell me that's not satisfying as hell though, chopping the top half of that spider. All right, how bad can it be in here? You guys have been hyping this up quite a lot. Ow. Get around this corner. I need to get a critical hit. Oh, I somehow got behind it. Ha ha ha, fall bastard. How does that thing look up and shoot? It, it doesn't have, there's no way it can look up and shoot the way it's built mechanically, not possible. Once again, I've been cheated out of success. I... Got him. I'm gonna have to use Conjuration because I need a tank to help me out in certain battles. But this dungeon itself could be really big for our Enterprise. Recover the left back leg of the Dwarven Horse. Right back leg, left front leg, right front leg, head. Oh god, this is gonna be awful. There's no quest marker either. How dare you, Skyrim. How will this horse help you? Um, it's cool. Rule of cool, a giant metal golden horse is awesome. Looks like this room is a maze and his pathing is gonna be damn near exact. We have a huge advantage in this room. As long as I jump to another level, they're gonna get really confused and have to reroute. So let's go with our dire wolf, get him happy over there, and then we flank. Missed. Keep them confused, keep looping them. Oh, I absolutely bamboozled. One down. Two down. Big boss battle? I got an idea. I have a really stupid idea, chat. Let's see if this works. <laughs> this could be dumb, but maybe it works. Come on, Skyrim physics. Let him walk across just a bit more. Now he's on this side, catapult. Holy shit. Okay, now he's stuck up here. <laughs> no way. Well, how did I time that perfectly? No, I wanted him to catapult up and then fall down to take fall damage. So I'm gonna try and time this perfectly again. Set it down and then fling it back up and hopefully he takes some damage. I mean, I guess. All right, well, here goes nothing. This is for science. I cannot believe we got him to do that. Oh, that's such trash. Of course, of course it backfires. It's gonna be on the other side of this thing. Slowly, now he's moving to the right. Now he's moving to the left. Let's get our dire wolf out there. And now let's run. Dire wolf, protect me. God, I love this game. I fucking love this game. What's up, Centurion? Can't fit through that door. I know you can't fit through that door. Now I'm scared. Now we're risking a ton of progress. Probably, yeah, I probably gotta hit that switch, but the second I do, there's gonna be spiders all around me. Don't, it's another Centurion. Give me a break. How did that miss? Oh, I about had a heart attack. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I gotta get out of here. What was that? Who's opening doors? I got a bail. At least for now, we still have some time in here. I think I'm gonna allow myself another 45-ish minutes to continue delving into this dungeon just to see how far we can get on this quest. I said an hour, 30 minutes ago. That was 30 minutes. I felt like five. Oh, he's targeting us. He's targeting us and he gets the first hit in. No way, I'm dead. What is this invisible wall shit? I'm out of stam. 
I'm toast. I'm toast. I'm toast. Swing the sword. Ugh. <laughs> Fuck. This game sucks. <laughs> This game fucking sucks. <laughs> no, that was my fault. I um, I was gifted an opportunity to get back into that fight. I should have thrown another wolf out there. I had the perfect opportunity to do it. I just didn't. This is before my, this is before I counted sleep. Now we're burning time. It just, ugh, we lose so much time when we die. Now we gotta go through the level up again. We gotta think through it. We went stam. I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna take it off of stam. I'm gonna go health because we have so much stamina buffing equipment. We're all the way up to 250. Do I want to take adrenaline? Yeah, I want to take it. God damn it. Click on the right thing. Fuck off. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm getting cooked by the skill menu. Come on. What are you doing, Wolf? What are you, what are you doing? Oh, what are you doing, Wolf? Stumble. Lava, lightning, ice. This place is awesome. If I can get out of here with a solid gold horse, I will be happy with that. Is this CC content? This is really good content. Bethesda, if you're gonna do CC content, more of this shit, because this is fucking cool. Like, it's it's just, it's the same assets from like the main game, the same enemies and everything, but like they just set scale on some spiky grass and throw up a storm cloud. Now it's cool. This is really creative. Shout out to whoever put this together. Okay, wheat depository. I really mean that. This entire dungeon is incredible. Super unique layout, it's vertical, effects. It was challenging and I got a little frustrated at times, but I enjoy that. I like when this game throws me some curveballs. I know Creation Club content is sort of a controversial topic in the community, but if it's gonna be made and more importantly sold, this should be the standard. This is a top five dungeon in the entire game and I haven't even cleared it all the way. I have no issues making that claim right now. Unfortunately though, for some reason, my audio decided to implode while recording here. But long story short, you bet your ass I got my solid gold horse and with time to spare too. I got the horse, I got the stats, I've even perfected my combat style at this point, so I'm gonna face down Red Eagle, look him right in his stupid Draugr eyes, and prove that I am once and for all the number one... There goes the shout, it misses us completely. Need another dog on the field. Gotta keep continually getting my dog on the field. Skeleton down. Ow. Skeleton down. Uh, almost have all of them down. Got a lot of objects in Red Eagle's way here. Throw another wolf out. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, <laughs> Ooh, uh, this is gonna be a little tough, huh? I cannot get hit one time. Need a stumble. Got a stumble? Let's get a critical. So I can't get two stumbles in a row. We're still gonna be able to do a really solid chunk of damage though if we get a critical hit. two swings. It's a two swing attack. I had a feeling as soon as he did the first swing, I was kind of expecting the second swing to come in. Dog's still alive? No, dog's not alive. Damn, he switches aggro like that? The dog ran away. Why did my dog run away? <laughs> you little bastard. That was a one hit kill. Would you stop predicting my attack? What if the dog's over there? What if the dog is flanking you? Might be the new strategy. Put the dog behind him. Now he turns. We got a stumble there, we got lucky. There's our critical. Nice chunk of health. I got really lucky though that uh, we got our power attack in, caused a stumble before his second attack went out. Shout, shout, shout! 
Mitigate. Mitigate no. the shout. No, <laughs> he somehow tanked it. Aggro, now he's on it. No critical, but we got to hit in. Keep it up, doggy. Double. Stumble. One more. Ah, we got to go. Hold on, hold on. Pause. I need a little bite to eat. Don't mind me, Red Eagle. I'm just hungry. Oh! Double attack. Stumble. I missed. I... One, two, oh my God. what? Got him. Good hit. Back it up. Woo. What's up? Be afraid of my strategy, Red Eagle. Be afraid of the strat. Double attack. There's the second. Gives me enough time for a big hit. Followed up. Get away. Get around here. There he goes. Basic attack. Not sure why we went with the running forward attack. There's our critical. We need stamina. If I'm going to power attack him again, we need stamina. Stumble. Nice hit. Fall back. Okay, he got us with the ice. Oh, no. Ah, I couldn't get my healing spell out soon enough, okay? Restore 50. Back to max. Fall back a bit. What's up, Red Eagle? Come on, come on, it was easy. It was literally the easiest boss battle I have ever had in the entirety of this game. That was a complete lie, although I am telling the truth when I say that I loved every second of this challenge. Playthrough. A challenge run, whatever the hell it's called now. What do we call it? Regardless, it feels good to have completed the final goal with over an hour to spare. Red Eagle, the final true final goal of this challenge ever since the start of the video. Okay, look, let me level with you all. Remember that thing I said earlier about how I'm really good at underwhelming endings? I did spend the next hour grinding as much as possible in preparation for the big battle, getting myself hyped up and all excited, but I didn't really do my homework and... well... No, 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 she ruins the whole thing! She ruins the whole thing! Let's move on.